You may find this hard to believe, but pretty much anyone can say complex rhythms. But not everyone can play complex rhythms. To put that more plainly, everyone can create complex rhythms with their mouths. We do it all the time when we're talking autonomously. But not everyone can use their hands and their fingers to create rhythmically complex music. Therefore, the way to unlock our rhythmic intuition is to identify the rhythms in the words that we say and then transfer those rhythms through our bodies to our hands via the say it, clap it, play it process. Now, fortunately, many early pieces are based on nursery rhymes or popular text. Uh, so let's take an example. Today we have London's burning, London's burning. So what have we got here? Let's think about the syllables. London's burning. Okay, there are four syllables in the phrase London's burning. And it's said twice, London's burning. So first of all, let's try saying that in time with each other. Okay, I'm going to give you a count in of one, two, and let's try saying it together. You ready? Here we go. One, two, London's burning, London's burning. Okay, so that's our spoken reference. That's where we get our rhythm from. Let's try sticking that together with something physical. Let's clap at the same time as we say the words. So after two again, here we go. One, two, London's burning, London's burning. How is that? A bit more tricky? If you need to pause the video at any point, just pause and have a go on your own, okay? Now, next, let's take our spoken reference away. Let's take those words out and then just go for that clapped rhythm on its own. So let's just clap the rhythm together. After two. One, two. Okay. Now, that was say it, clap it, play it. Let's keep it simple. Let's just use one finger and play one note. So this is a different sort of physical action, okay? I'm just gonna play middle C with my index finger, and then I'm gonna say it again. Let's bring that reference back in. So say and play with one finger on one note. You ready? One, two, London's burning, London's burning. And if you're learning this piece, of course, the next step is going to be to play it with the right notes, like this. Now, as I move on to do that, of course, I'm playing the right notes and I was using the correct fingers. So that's adding more complexity into the process. Um, so thinking about that extra complexity, the right notes and digging out those correct fingers is of course going to disrupt the rhythm. That's going to make it harder to do. So we might slow down and speed up in different places, but at least by going through the process of saying it and clapping it, playing it, we've developed that reference. We've brought it through our bodies and we begin to know what the rhythm is. So uh, in short, it is always very useful to say what you play. Adults, you can help your children uh, with their rhythm as they're learning to play something. And Keep using those words as a reference. Come back to them with say it, clap it, play it.